Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys along as I do an extreme clean with me video. I just got done, we had a four day weekend and I had to work, so the house is a bit of a mess. I really wasn't able to you know, clean and get everything done. So I thought that I would just bring you guys along, get some cleaning motivation in. I know that I love watching these videos and the house definitely needs it. I wouldn't say it's trash, but you can just tell that I haven't been able to clean it for four days. So that's what we're doing right now. That's where we're going. So one thing I like to do anytime I'm going to be cleaning is to make a list. That way I can feel like I accomplished something as I go down and cross everything off. So I'm going to do that today too. So I need to do laundry. I need to get that done. Um, I need to get the kitchen done. So I need to clean the kitchen. Let's see what else. Um, oh, I need to vacuum the floors. And then after I vacuum them, I need to mop them. Um, I need to water my plants because they are, um, they all have these little things that hold water in them and those are empty. I also need to straighten up my couches because they are a mess and that drives me absolutely nuts. Um, let's see, straighten up my couches and then I need to do the dishes and that's it. And I'll be able to mark these off as I do them or at the end or I don't know how I'm going to do it, but it just really helps to feel like you've accomplished something, even if it doesn't necessarily look like you've done a lot. Open eye, through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, can't make calls. So one thing you'll notice that I didn't actually realize I did so much throughout this entire video is I use the kangaroo pouch in my hoodie to pick things up off the floor way more than I thought I did. I actually knew that I did that but I didn't realize that I did it so much. It's actually really convenient to do when you have like bigger pieces of lint or anything that's on the floor that you need to pick up. but. You don't want to stop and go to the trash can, just put it in that little pouch. It works out perfectly. Do you guys have the problem of having one area in your house that just seems to gather more dust and hair than anywhere else? I do and it's right here in my living room where my dog sits and it drives me crazy. I can vacuum it and 10 minutes later it needs to be vacuumed again. One thing I'm trying to do is to drink more water this year. I got myself a very large water bottle to try and keep hydrated. It's a little hard, but I'm doing it, keeping it going, and I'm pretty proud of myself. As 
as you can see, my cat boots in the corner over there. He's got the cone on his head. The poor guy has got a skin condition. He's really sensitive. I've switched out his food and he's getting better. It's clearing up, but he just liked to over groom himself way too much. So for right now, until his skin heals up, he's got to stay in the cone, but he's such a good sport. He doesn't really mind it that much. I'm able to take it off him a couple times a day to let him groom himself and to eat, but he's a really cool cat and he's really chill and it seems to be healing up pretty well, which is really good. Down. Try to keep me down, but I'll put the flame out. You can't get to me. Throw your sticks and your stones. Go break all of my bones. You won't ache my soul. You can't get to me. And there is no barricade that I. I've been using Method brand cleaners for a while now and I absolutely love them. There's something about them I can spray them on pretty much any stain, any mess, and depending on the severity of it, I might have to let it sit between 30 seconds to maybe a minute and a half or so, but I have yet to find something that it hasn't been able to clean up. It's absolutely amazing and I love the smells. The one that I showed you here I believe is a lavender smell, but I also really like the one in the green bottle which is the bamboo. It smells great. It works so well. The one I have in the green is antibacterial. This one's just all purpose, but I highly recommend this brand. Goes around, comes around. You won't put the flame out. You can't get to me. Say what you want to say. Go take it all away. But I'm here to stay. No, you can't get to me. And there is no barricade that I can tear away. Shoot me down the fire away, away. But I'm a heavyweight. I'm a heavyweight. I'm a heavyweight. I'm I honestly don't know how the laundry piles up the way it does. I usually am able to get to it every day and if I do a load every day it pretty much can stay under control but for some reason for days I feel like we had like a month's worth of laundry. I don't know if the kids are changing like five times a day or what they're doing but it was insane the amount of laundry that I had to do today. I don't understand it. Also on a side note, this is completely unrelated, but I have been watching Dexter and I'm like six season in and I know I'm really behind. It was out like forever ago, but I decided to try to watch it and I'm obsessed with it. It is such a good show and I am so invested in it. I can't believe that I'm already on season six and there's only eight seasons, so as much as I want to keep watching it, I also kind of want to stop a little bit because I don't want to come to the end because I love it so much. Is there like a show that you guys have absolutely loved? If there is, let me know because I'm going to be done with this series soon and I need to find my next obsession show that I'm absolutely in love with. I was thinking about doing Modern Family again, which I had started before, but I know it's still on and I haven't caught up with it. Um, I don't know, I'm so excited to see what happens, but I also really don't want it to end.
As you can see, the laundry pile has absolutely become a tower. It's insane how much, that's mostly my daughter's clothes and I actually don't usually do her laundry. I think somehow she snuck it in there which would explain the pile and why it was so full when it isn't usually. But I kept going and going and going and I was just absolutely, I couldn't believe that it just didn't end. It was insane. It was like a never ending basket. I got this spin mop at Target on clearance actually. I believe it was like $10, which is an insane price. I've wanted one for a really long time. My grandma has one and she just raves about it. She loves hers. So when I saw it on clearance, I knew I had to get it and I have to say, I love it. It is able to get a lot of the water out and I'm able to get a really good clean on my floor and the drying time is not long at all. As you can see, like, in the future my cat is going to walk all over it but that's okay because it's not soaking wet so it doesn't leave little paw prints all over which you know would be really cute because he's cute but also not exactly what I want on a floor that I just mopped So, laundry is done. We'll be able to finish the kitchen, vacuum, mop. I got the plants watered. The couches are fixed and the dishes are done. Finally got everything done on the list. It was officially a successful day. <laughs> 